I found this really cool footage of a ground crew loading a Sidewinder or heat-seeking missile on the underside pylon of an F-16, the beautiful fighter jet, one of my favorites. But what I found interesting is that the larger AIM-120 a radar guided missile is actually located on the external pylon where you normally would see the sidewinder and I'm just wanting to ask you as a viewer in the community why would this be normally you know the standard that I see is the sidewinder is placed on the external pylon because I perceive and believe them to be a little bit more lightweight and maybe the tolerances of flying with a missile of that size on the external pylons makes more sense than putting them in the underside so let me know I'd love to hear your comments on this and I also noticed uh, the uh, comments section of where I found this video of the crews uh, being sort of judged for walking underneath the AMRAM there instead of using sort of the coming from the rear or from the front load. I'm not sure if that's a normality, but uh, I'd love to hear your comments on this video and whether or not the loadout of the F-16 is a little different with this kind of setup.